All right, in this video, we're going to look at um, the concept of parallel and perpendicular. Okay, we're just really going to be looking at if lines are parallel to one another, what does that tell you about their slopes? And if lines are perpendicular to one another, what does that tell you about their slopes? Okay, so I just have just this one page little handout that kind of gets at that. All right, so parallel lines do not intersect, okay? So something like this, two lines that look like that. And notice just looking at them, you can tell if they're going to be like this, kind of like railroad tracks, they aren't going to ever intersect. They have to have the same steepness. Now, they don't necessarily have to go in that orientation. They might be this way, okay? Or they might be straight up and down, right? Or both of them could be horizontal. So, you know, here's an example. Here's some examples. So you can tell just looking at them that if lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. And then their y-intercepts are going to be different. Where they cross the y-axis will be different. Okay? So m's are the same. B's are different. Okay. Now, perpendicular lines, let me do those this part in blue. Perpendicular lines look like this. Okay. If the scale's the same on the axes, they're going to intersect at a, a 90 degree or a right angle. So, right angle angles, or you could say at 90 degrees. Okay, you could say one, either of those two things. Okay, and again, they they could, you could have one vertical and one horizontal. They would be perpendicular, and these lines could be in any orientation. They just have to um, be lines that intersect at 90 degree angles. So these are kind of interesting. In order to wind up being perpendicular, one, the slopes would um, have to be both opposites. I don't, really, the, what I should have said, I should have left this out, are opposite reciprocals of one another or negative reciprocals of one another. So, like, if this one has a slope of one-fourth, then that one would have to have a slope of negative four, okay? So they have to be, the number part has to be reciprocals and the signs have to be opposites, okay? And then the product of their slopes is negative one, okay? All right, the other thing though, the special case is this guy, where one is undefined and the other one is has no slope, or I mean is, is undefined. One is undefined, the other has a slope of zero. Okay, all right, so now let's look at this chart. So let's suppose you have a line and the slope of the line you have is five. Then in this column we're going to look at parallel, in this column we're going to look at perpendicular. So if the line has a slope of five and your line is parallel to it, it's also going to have a slope of five, okay? And I'll just I'll just put the numbers. <clears throat> All right. But to be perpendicular, you have to think this. Five is really five over one. To be perpendicular, you have to flip that over. And since this was positive, it would have to be negative. Okay. All right. So let's try one that starts out as a fraction. This starts out as positive two thirds. The line parallel to it would also have a slope of positive two thirds but the line perpendicular to it would have to be negative and it would have to be the reciprocal of the number part. So negative three halves, okay? All right, now if it starts with negative three, that's the same as negative three over one. Why don't you pause the video and try the rest of these and then check and see if you're right, okay? And then negative three over one, so if you're parallel, you're still gonna be negative three, but if you're perpendicular, you're going to be one-third, and you're going to be positive one-third. You don't have to write the positive. All right, this one starts out negative. Okay, so for the perpendicular, it's going to be positive. It started out as one-half, so you're going to flip it over, 
and 2 over 1, 2 divided by 1 is really 2. To be parallel is just the same. Okay. Now this one's a special case. So if your line has a slope of 0, the parallel one is going to have a slope of 0. But the perpendicular one is going to have to have an undefined slope. Okay. So that's, that's the information about how the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines are related. Okay. All right, now you might get a question like this. Let me go back to the sheet and look at the questions. So you might be asked to determine if the following pairs of lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, so let me see if I can snip that page. Okay, there we go. And let's work on that part down there. All right. So what you would wind up doing on these is you would wind up trying to get the slope of each. And so what would help <clears throat> would be if these equations were in slope intercept form. So like here, if I would solve this one for y, and then I could compare because I can tell up here that m equals negative 3 and b equals 2. So on this one, what I need to do is do some rearranging. I need to solve that equation for y. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. That's going to give me 2y equals negative 6x plus 8. Okay. Then I'm trying to solve for y, so I'm not quite finished. Now I'm going to divide by 2. Go ahead and distribute it into everything. And you'll wind up with y is equal to negative 3x plus 4. Now, once you get it like that, you're ready to compare the two. Because now you can tell on this one, the slope is also negative 3. The b value is 4. So you can, you can picture it. One line's going to be doing that. The other line's going to be doing that. Okay, They're going to have the same slope. So And the b's are different. So they're going to be parallel lines. Okay. So number six, that's the parallel case. Okay. Now lines don't have to be parallel or perpendicular. They could just intersect. You know, they could just intersect any old way, you know, not at a right angle. Okay. So on this one, we can tell the slope is negative one fourth, but on this one, we've got a little work to do. So we're going to take that, going to solve for y. So we're going to try to subtract. Let me get rid of that line. <clears throat> solve for y. We're going to subtract the 4x or add a negative 4x to both sides. We're going to be left with negative y equals negative 4x plus 1. Okay. All right. At that point, we'll divide everywhere. You know, you're dividing both sides by negative 1, but then distributing that negative 1 all the way through. Okay, so that's going to wind up giving you y equals, and that'll be positive 4x minus 1. Okay, so on this line, the slope was negative 1 fourth. On this one, the slope is 4. Then you look at that, you look at that, and you realize they are reciprocals and they're opposites of one another. Or if you were to multiply the two, you would get negative 1. So these lines are perpendicular to one another. Okay. All right, now number eight, it's already got the y on the side by itself. So look, this is three, this is uh, negative three, and, and the other one has a slope of three. All right, a lot of people say these are perpendicular, but you, they're not. To be perpendicular, one, this second one might need to be a one-third. You have to have a reciprocal, not just opposites. See, if I were to graph these, this first one would do something like that, okay? The second one would be down here, and it would have the same steepness, but in the other direction. And that angle wouldn't necessarily be 90 degrees here, okay? So if you had 1 being 3 and one being negative three, or, or one having a slope of two and one having a slope of negative two. That's not good enough. That's neither. 
And then sometimes they won't have a relationship at all. Like they'll just be too random. Like if, if one equation was y equals 5x minus 2 and the other one was y equals, you know, one third x plus 1, the slopes are just different. This would be a neither. Okay. All right. And then I put one on here that was one of those special cases because when you're looking at that, you can think about it. Y equal negative 6 would be down here. Okay. Down at, at always going down negative 6. So that's y equals negative 6 right there, okay? And then x equal 4, that's a vertical line over at 4. So that's x equal 4. So they do intersect at a right angle. Any, if you have a y equals and an x equals type, those special types, they're going to be perpendicular, okay? And like if you had x equals 5 and x equals negative 1, those would both be vertical, and they would be parallel, okay? All right, so I just want to do a quick video on the issue of parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, there's a couple questions in the homework about slope dealing with that, and then there's also some questions when you're writing equations of lines, this issue of parallel and perpendicular comes up.